So today we're going to look at doing this ink drawing, pen on paper, and then scanning it in and coloring it with Photoshop. I'm doing this drawing with a 0.35 Rotring isograph on Bristol paper. And to be honest, I just started doodling some shapes and lines. I didn't know ahead of time what it would turn out to be, or I, I didn't even plan on drawing a face, much less one that uh, looks so mutilated. It messed up like someone got their face stuck in a hand crank pencil sharpener for, for, for the better part of an afternoon. And I started wondering about myself. Like why am, well, by the time I realized that I was drawing a face, which happened um, fairly early on after I drew an eye here and maybe another eye kind of popping out there, I started wondering, Peter, why are you drawing this weird messed up faces? And it's not the first time I've drawn a weird messed up face like this. And it's not like I, you know, like seeing really gory things like this, but you know how a, what is it, a clam or a mussel or a mollusk or an oyster, one of those things, you know, they get uh, a piece of sand, a grain of sand caught in them and they kind of turn it over and chew on it and they get irritated at, uh, they get irritated by it and eventually they turn it into a pearl. I feel like that's kind of what happens with my art. I kind of just go wherever my mind takes me, right? I kind of try to let go. I don't try to force it. And what happened here is I think there's just a couple little things that got stuck in my mind, like maybe the the agony of like a little bit of a pimple on my face, giving me some angst and grief. Uh, actually, I think I had a pimple on my back the other day that was bothering me. Just tiny little things like that. Or maybe just some little una unhappinesses about the way, you know, I look, my general physical appearance, right? No, I mean, I'm not, I don't, maybe some people are completely happy with how they look. I'm not. Obviously, I don't think I look like this, like, like this drawing. But I think it's like these little thoughts are like the sand in the oyster. My mind keeps turning them over and over and, and, and it grows into this pearl of, of a drawing. Obviously, pearls are... Uh, much different than this drawing, but you know what I mean? I think that's kind of how it works. And I think it's interesting. Um, it's simply not, it's simply not beautiful like a pearl. So the metaphor isn't quite, I'm just trying to do some introspection and maybe figure out how my brain works a little bit. And I think it could be a little bit like that. Things get caught in my mind. And as you know, I'm standing in the shower or trying to fall asleep at night and even subconsciously through the day, and as I'm drawing, they kind of ball up and, and work into these uh, you know, larger-than-life problems that I pour onto the paper here like this, and it's kind of a way to let it out onto the paper. And it doesn't mean I've moved past it completely. But anyways, after I finish doing uh, the line work part of the drawing, I went ahead and scanned it in. And I scanned in with my scanner at a ridiculous 106, no, 1,600 DPI, which is really way higher than you ever need to scan anything in for practical purposes, for publishing or anything like that. But uh, I kind of do this out of habit and so that I'll just have really high resolution images if I ever need to print them on, uh, you know, shower curtains or anything. It's nice to have it for that. I guess ideally, look, I'm not an expert, which... As I was coloring this on Photoshop, a lot of people, I was streaming it, and I had a lot of great help, right? People that know Photoshop and digital art better than me, because I'm, obviously I don't do much digital art, but I like toying around with it every now and then. A lot of people watching know way more about it than me, and I'm sure it was very, uh, very frustrating for them uh, to watch me go about this, and I'm sure what was a suboptimal way, you know, not l using layers, as much as I could have been, you know, not losing, using all these sort of, you know, like, so there, there were so many shortcuts I could have taken with selection tools and masking effects and all these sort of things, but I got it done in the end, didn't I? Maybe it took way longer and I went through more steps and motions than I had to, but I'm glad I got it done. And every time 
I do some of this digital art. I do learn a few things, which is fun. I feel like I'm making forward motion in that sense. So it's good to feel some progress that way. And I do like coloring things digitally. I've tried coloring things in other ways, you know, with markers, colored pencils, uh, watercolors. But for some reason, digitally, if, if I'm not just going to leave my, my, my art black and white, which I do like that my physical art is left black and white, like I tr- traditionally draw it, I like that I can, I like to color it digitally and that way I can like tweak the colors more. I don't know. It just seems to be my preference at the moment. So I might do this more in the future. We'll see. Um, but yeah, I'm no, I'm no expert, uh, but I'm, I'm learning and I think it turned out pretty cool. I like it. This weird, this weird guy who, uh, he picked his nose too much and obviously his whole head caved in and the rest of his body followed and it was just, it's like a sweater unraveling happen to the best of us so be careful out there that's all i'm saying you know anyways uh yeah take it easy everyone thanks for watching nothing too great i mean this is kind of crazy this guy hopefully i mean i don't mean like i said i don't mean i'm not attracted to gory things but i feel like maybe this is I, i really think it is just my my mind getting caught on a tiny thing like a pimple or maybe like a little scab and then blowing it out of proportion, you know, into a drawing like this. I don't know. It could be totally different though. I could be too close to the situation to really know, but have a good day, everyone. All right. I'll see you later. Goodbye.